Before I get into uh, the topic today, I'd just like to let you know that I have not ingested any illicit substances. Uh, I've not been, been smoking anything, and you don't need to call the men in the white coats. Because what I'm going to say, I often get really strange looks. People are like, what are you talking about? So the topic is the fact that One UZs use the same cylinder head on both sides. Are we having trouble comprehending? I'm going to say that again. The One UZ, this is the non-VVTI, the cylinder head from the left hand side can be taken off and put on to the right hand side. Now what guys normally say is, but won't the camshaft pulley come out the back? Or do they have a cam belt on the back of the engine? No, cam belt's on the front. But I'll get to explaining that soon. Let's have a little bit of a look. I've got uh, two engines here. So I've got a 20 series. And you will find different part numbers. That's because they did change the castings a little bit. But each one takes two. So this one, you notice here, is a little spot where you would put, you could put a dipstick if it was an early engine. So if it was a crown engine, that's on the front. And look at the same little dent, the same casting is on the back. So that's a hint that something might be the same. Over here, you've got opened up holes and opened up holes. They're actually looking very, very similar visually on the back of the cylinder head. Here is a, this is old yellow, so this is a 10 series engine, and this head actually I think might be the same as that one. The earlier heads were different, and but they take the same head on both sides. Even when I say there's a different head, or you'll find different part numbers, as long as you put two of the same head on the engine, they will swap. Here we go. We know that the exhaust manifolds are the same. So the exhaust gaskets are the same. So this is a set of my headers. So I can take a set of left-hand headers and put it on the right-hand side, and right-hand headers and put it on the left. The intake manifold can be reversed. The intake manifold gaskets are the same, both sides. Actually, you can also swap the top of the plenum as well. So you can swap the bottom bit around and the top. So let's have a look at that on the cylinder head. Here I have my blank head. This is the one that may have ingested a bolt from when it had a starter motor done and it didn't have the, all the debris uh, blowing out and it ingested one of the screws that had fallen off from a throttle position sensor. So we have some tappet covers and again the tappet cover gaskets left and right are the same. I think I've undone the screws on the inside. We'll just get rid of those. Try that again. That tablet cover fits. And the other side, see that one's got an oil fuller on it, so it must be the other side. That fits as well. So you can swap those around. Onto the camshafts. So this is the bit that can be interchanged. But you do need to swap the camshafts around. I happen to have some spare camshafts here. And I'll, one day I will do a video on setting up the, the cam timing internally. So on these camshafts, we have the scissor gears. And that's the design to stop the backlash and stop chatter. So I'm going to turn that one around. So on the back of these cams, there are some lettering to designate whereabouts in the engine they go. So I've lined them all up. I'm going for a close-up. So that one, R1, 
R2, L3, and L4. So you can swap the cams around and the heads can be interchanged. So that can get confusing for guys uh, when they are trying to, when I've just pulled them apart and got all these little bits and pieces. On the cam caps, we've got um, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, and I6. And on this one, funnily enough, E1, E2, E3, E4. Arrows, so one head will point forward and one head will point backwards. And these cam caps do need to be kept in order. Hence the reason they're numbered, because the, the heads, when they've been put together, are line board. So the cam caps need to be kept in their correct position. So if we take this camshaft here, and we put it here like this, got no um, buckets in there. So there we have a right hand cylinder head, and it would get the, the right hand scissor gear to go with it, like so. So that makes it a right hand cylinder head. And the cam pulley is at this end. And of course, I'm not just going to swap it around and put it out that side. It won't work that way. Because nothing sort of lines up. It's longer at one end than the other. We're going to take a left hand. Here's our left hand inlet cam. And look at that. And our pulley goes on and it becomes a left hand cylinder head with the scissor gear sitting like so. Of course, it sits in properly. So that's how you make a left hand head, a right hand head, or a, left, or a right hand head into a left hand head. Change the cams around, and the blanking bung goes on the back. You can get those little caps, and they blank off, and away you go. So one cylinder head fits onto the engine twice, fits on a left hand and a right hand, reducing your production costs, and making a simpler engine to work on. Now, I'm sure someone's going to say, but this engine does that, and this engine has uh, cylinder heads that can be swapped. Yeah, a lot of those have got push rods. This is an overhead cam engine, or a quad cam engine. So it's quite a neat feat that Toyota did that, and they did it back in 1989 when they started on the production of these engines. It does make them a little bit of a jigsaw if guys just go rip them to pieces because both heads will have cam caps that are left hand, will have inlet and exhaust cam caps and people mix them up. If it's a used engine, you'll generally find the side with the PCV valve on it, uh, which is the left hand side will be dirtier than the right hand side and that's just normal. So you can sometimes match it like that. But it pays to actually keep them all together nicely so you don't mix them up. Uh, even though the cylinder heads are the same, the head gaskets are different. Now I did that in my head gasket video, and that's to do with the water flow around the engine. Nothing to do with the cylinder heads as such, but it's the water flow. It does mean that, of course, intake manifold gaskets, as I said, are the same, uh, but you can put them left, I've seen them where they've Put them front to back and they don't go over the holes properly. I know normal people can't do it, but people do do that. Uh, the water bridge gaskets are all the same, all four of them are the same. Exhaust manifold gaskets are the same. The exhaust manifold gaskets are the same VVTI and non VVTI, so they interchange no problem. Uh, the VVTI block has got an extra oil feed. So it's not that easy to put a non-VVTI head, no, put a VVTI head onto a non-VVTI block. So I, I don't even try. For the price of the motors, just stick, get another motor and rebuild that if you want a VVTI motor, or if you've got an early motor, rebuild that, if that's what you want to do, or swap pistons around. But I think it's really clever that they did that. Uh, I do get the strangest looks when I say that they're the same head, People just can't work it out. So hopefully that's cleared up a little bit of that. 
and you can see how easy it is when I've got those camshafts and I can just flick them around. Um, very, very quick to do, very, very easy to do. I'm sure someone's going to ask whether VVTIs are the same. I've got a VVTI, the back of a VVTI engine here. Looking at the back of the cylinder head. So the cylinder heads on the VVTIs are not interchangeable, left to right. It's got a right one and a left. Kind of indicates that they can't be swapped. But the intake manifold, the principle with the intake manifold, you can turn them around. Because I have done so. It's a bit of a stuff up with this big cover here and wiring. But I have managed to swap them around in some of the trials trucks I've wired with VVTI engines. So hopefully that's been helpful and you've learned something. Or at least if you already knew, it gives you um, a valid way of arguing your point. So if you've liked this video, uh, push the little like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more 1UZ stuff.